Can non-lethal events trigger PTSD? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Well, and, and there's a lot of legal debate about how relatively mild an event uh, can be and still qualify for PTSD. For, for PTSD. When, when we created the diagnosis, we didn't, we didn't want the event to be something that could be life-changing, like being fired or like having a, tr a, a tremendous financial reversal kind of thing that can lead people to commit suicide. But that doesn't create this biological imprint, this thing that lives on in our brain and that's associated with very primitive instincts, uh, survival instincts, fighting, fleeing, and, uh, and, and is therefore uh, associated with death or uh, serious injury or serious biological threat. And we've gone round and round with the definition. So at one point early on we said a traumatic event was something that was outside the realm of usual human experience and that would be markedly distressing, such as, and then we listed a number of events, including rape. And in rape we didn't mean that the rape had to be deadly, with a weapon, uh, but it's a violation, it's an assault on dignity, on intimacy, and it's the source of nightmares and flashbacks and PTSD. So now we have defined the event as something that at the time causes extreme fear or horror or helplessness. Uh, and that helps us. Uh, th that helps us have a sense of what fits and what doesn't fit. What happens when you have many traumas? It's different to have many traumas. First of all, let's say <clears throat> therapy is occurring amid a series of traumas because you live in a war zone or you live in a particular family or you have a certain job where you're exposed and re-exposed and re-exposed. And eventually the mind handles this in a way that is different from classic PTSD. You don't have the same kind of nightmare and flashback to a single event. Uh, you somehow feel dehumanized. Uh, lowered. Uh, sometimes you can feel trapped as though you're living in, in prison and, and your life appears to have no exit. And, and a number of us are considering a, a new diagnosis. Uh, that maybe this is PTSD 2 or complex PTSD or a response to extreme stress. So the, uh, the concept of PTSD was developed with a single incident in mind. And now we have to change our thinking to be more accurate in understanding the quality of life, the repertoire of coping skills of the person who is continuously visited with traumatic events.